And now, another edition of Mob TV Hits, The Queen of Harlem. New York has seen its fair share of mobsters, gangsters, and kingpins, but perhaps no boss was better than Madame Stephanie St. Clair. Back in the early 1900s, Harlem was hers to rule as she elbowed her way into the male-dominated underworld and built an empire running a lucrative numbers game. During her reign, she used her influence to advocate for the community, calling out police brutality and corruption. Her push for civil rights and voting rights was ahead of her time. Few banks would accept black customers, so her racket was one of the few ways to invest their earnings. Although the practice was generally illegal, Madame St. Clair cleared over a quarter million dollars per year. That was before getting sent away for eight months. But when the Italian mob eventually set its sights on a Harlem takeover, that's when Queenie, as she was known, went to war, successfully going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the infamous gangster Dot Schultz and keeping the mafia at bay. She took out full-page ads in the paper, taunting her archenemy. Years later, as Schultz lay dying from an attempted hit, she famously sent him a telegram that read, As ye sow, so shall ye reap. Now that's one tough boss. This has been another edition of Mob TV Hits.